you all know the story of what a hell is, right? So when you're on your deathbed, hell has been described as when you're on your deathbed and you're dying and you're thinking about your life, the person you could have been walks in through your hospital door and greets you. If you had made every right choice, if you had made every right decision, you had done everything you were supposed to do, that guy will walk in and shake your hand and you're going to see what you could have been in your lifetime. That's the description of the ultimate regret, right? However, I'm choosing to think of life and the way I'm operating in life now is different. The way I think of it is there's life now, there's death, which is a finite amount of time. You have so much time before you die. And then somewhere along the lines here between your where you are now and dying, if you do everything you're supposed to do, I'm choosing to believe that one of these days you'll be your the ultimate self. You'll, you'll reach that person. You'll become an urn and have the physique and have everything you've ever wanted somewhere between where you are now and where death is. And it happens somewhere in here, right? But every day you put off doing a habit, every day you put off working out, every day you put off reading, every day you put off not taking a risk that you should have taken. That day, you're eating one of your days. That day, you, to reach your ideal self, gets pushed back one day. And if you do that too often, eventually, that timer on your ideal self passes death and you're not able to reach that person. At the same time, every day you do delay that. Let's say I had you do that and you're supposed to enjoy 20 years, but I, I, I procrastinate and I put it off for 10 years. That means at my ideal state, I could have had 20 years of uh, abundant life, of, of unlimited money, of great physique, et cetera, et cetera. But because I had put it off for 10 years, I only get to enjoy that for 10 years now versus the whole 20. So the reason I, I work with such urgency now is because I want to reach that ideal state sooner. I want to reach that peak level sooner so I can enjoy that ideal state and live in that ideal state more often for the remainder of my lifespan. So for those of you guys who are thinking about your goals and don't want to go pursue them, who, who know you should be uh, reading, who should be, you should be journaling, you should be working out on a daily basis or on a consistent basis, and you're, you're thinking about putting that off and you're thinking about doing that tomorrow, understand that every time you do that, you are robbing your future ideal state of one day. That's one day that you could have been enjoying the maximum return and you're just throwing that into the garbage. So. I hope this presses some urgency on you guys today on days like this where I'm feeling unwell. I still journaled. I still worked out. Um, I'm still, I still uh, read today. So just keep that in mind every day that you don't want to do those things. There's a future state you're robbing yourself from. So I hope this springs some of you guys into action and I'll see you guys tomorrow.